Hello, my name is Ajay Ravindranathan. I'm a principal solutions architect at uh, Telecom Industries Business Unit in AWS. Uh, today, uh, the topic that we are going to chat about is the journey towards autonomous operations and dark knock. Uh, and I have the pleasure of uh, having Reza Ranma from uh, BT, who is an MD of Networks. Uh, Reza, would you like to introduce yourself and uh, then just talk about uh, what are the challenges you see towards the journey towards autonomous operations in general? Sure, thank you very much for having me. I'm Reza Ranama. I'm the Managing Director of Mobile Networks in British Telecom. Um, we have a vision for operating our network quite differently. You know, if you think about it in a mobile network from the days of 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G, a lot of how we operate the network is very similar. You know, we have the same functions that run the 2G network today, almost in a 5G network. You know, people who worked on um, HLR during the, you know, 2G, 3G and 4G, you know, we now uh, we have the HSS, uh, the charging, the voice engines, everything is very similar. And there is a requirement for a lot of... Um, expertise how to run a complex network such as uh, BT's network, you know, a large mobile network. So we're really looking at the ways of uh, changing this and modernizing the ways that we're working. In order to do that, we've got to really make a big change and, and instead of being just a pure network engineering team to almost transfer ourselves into a software engineering team and be a software team that runs the mobile network. But we, in, before we, we make that massive change and utilize new technology such as AI, um, we have to change some fundamental stuff in the way we operate. Um, from the parked organizational stuff, from a data perspective, you know, we have uh, one of the largest networks in UK and, and we have thousands of radio sites, we have thousands of gateways, a huge IP network, a massive distributed core network, massive distributed IMS network, and that network produces enormous amount of data. And that data, we need to learn what to do with that data. And that data really, you know, every element manager, you know, pushes data into uh, network management services. And from there, then we know how to either use basic SNMP to monitor the network uh, uh, and get loads of syslogs. And there's loads of expertise that sits in various silos trying to do that. So very first thing for us, you know, how do we become a more software driven network? How do we really look at data? And then that vision of what we call dark knock, which eventually the network self heals more itself, not just in radio, but also in the core network. We have a huge uh, containerized network now that we can take the traffic from a faulty node and put it into the new, you know, the working node. All of that requires a logic that needs to be coded with really for us to use the data as well to make those logical choices. It's a huge transformation for us. And, you know, data is an asset, as mm. you rightly put it. There's people, there is process, all of that transformation to happen together in unison yeah. to get the benefit out of this huge transformation that you have yes. in, in progress. Um, what, what do you see the role of AI and Gen AI specifically in this journey? So first we have to fix data. You know, we are in that journey with AWS at the moment to accelerate fixing data. But what I mean by that is that take the data that comes out of network in petabytes and petabytes and try to clean that data and make sense out of that data that comes out. This is way before we predict anything, so where the ML or the AI stuff comes out. So that partnership with AWS is very important for us to accelerate us into creating a sensible data architecture and cleaning the data. But when we talk about AI, I think there are two things that I would like to get out of the, as part of this uh, piece of work that we're doing together. Number one is to take data analysis from people. You know, humans looking at huge amount of data and trying to figure out what's wrong with the network and then from there go and take an action. I think it's incredible if we can make the data uh, accurate, make a data point towards uh, what the problem is, if you like, and then really trust the decision that system is going to make 
to make sure the service continues to run. So data and that analyzing the data and data analytics become very, very automated. But that's a huge task, you know, to understand how the radio network works, to understand how the core, how the transmission network, how the IMS, how the devices work, and then to transfer that data into a document and into a model that the system can make that decision. It's a huge journey, but it's a journey that we've started together and I'm hoping we get there. And the second part that I would like to achieve is really uh, to move away from having hundreds and hundreds of tools that are very bespoke for a function, right? So you have number of tools that are really look after a, a, mo a module or a function in a network and create a bigger network uh, monitoring system or um, whatever you want to call it, we don't have a name for it yet, but that to consolidate all these tools and really have this big intelligent system that can help you know, um, getting the data out of the network and, and reduce our demand for having so many tools in the network, that would be another one. So, you know, consolidating tools and really make the data analysis as automated as possible. Absolutely, like removing the silos between those systems that have data that cannot be accessed today, making data accessible getting open data access from right. all of these different disparate systems and silos and then creating that knowledge graph as we Correct. call it Correct. in order to power the AI and Correct. Gen AI on top of that. Uh, I suppose there are so many use cases that go into this, doesn't yes. it? Like the root cause analysis yes. and the service impact analysis, anomaly detection we have talked about. Yes. And then using all of this to start forecasting and doing predictive maintenance. Indeed. And yeah. Up, uh, ultimately, uh, reducing the cost of operations, isn't it? Yes, well, exactly. And uh, and then channeling all of that innovation into monetizing the the network in even better uh, to produce better benefits for your customers. Yeah. And uh, and in those areas, uh, uh, we are uh, uh, helping with all of the services around the network graph that we provide, the topology that we create, the discovery that mm. we can provide, and then on top of that, the analytics, creating data products, that's a huge thing yes. uh, around governing data across organization to make sure that these, uh, the data as an asset mm. can be shared across the organization uh, uh, instead of replicating uh, data across the organization. And, and then making use of that data uh, to run AI ML models. We call it like an AI continuum. Because right. uh, uh, there are ML models mm -hmm. and then there are Gen AI models, but right. they need to work in unison right. in uh, an agentic AI framework uh, to then produce that benefit uh, that uh, we, we say in a, at AWS that you've got to use the right tool for the right job. And uh, there are certain areas where ML models do a mm. very good job versus some where generative AI is proving its value as well. Mm. So having that unison provides us that, um, uh, I suppose, uh, a good technology framework and foundation on top of which all of these use cases uh, can be built. Um, so Reza, from uh, the perspective of the next two years mm. that you see, how do you see uh, your journey towards uh, this dark knock uh, vision that you have? Uh, what are the main milestones in your mind? I think the very first one is to fix the data, yeah. to make sense out of the data. And having, as I said, uh, uh, the build the foundations. The second one is upskilling the team. You know, having the team to understand how all this new technology works in order for them, so the key is this, you need a radio engineer, you need a core engineer who understands this technology and understand how to make uh, uh, sense out of data. So build the foundations and the foundations for me, two pillars, upskilling your team and, and really work with partners such as AWS to, to build the data, clean the data. And once we have a clean data, then we can introduce 
software engineering techniques and machine learning is part of that, right? And because some of our problems are very basic wall do statements that can make a decision on an event that happened. But at the moment, it's too hard sometimes for us when an event ha happens to figure out why it happened, mm -hmm. you know? So, so the, the, the almost the second layer after upskilling and fixing the data is this uh, concept of trying to automate as much as we can. So clean processes, but automate those processes. And then really utilizing the new tech. And instead of perhaps building everything from, from scratch, again, use, utilizing what AWS then can give us to accelerate those tools and bring the people's expertise to make a decision to keep the network going. Because at the end of the day, what we want for everybody to be connected in the most safest um, uh, manner for the applications that they're using. Yeah. Right. So that continuous service uh, availability is very important for us. So if the machines can make that, whilst then the humans go and figure out, you know, why it failed, was it a design issue or not, uh, is the key. The other one, obviously, the holy grail on all of this is predictive analysis. You know, can I predict that something's about to fail? Yeah. And can I prevent it? And this is not only good for uh, uh, continuity of service, but it's also very good for cyber. You know, is, is an anomaly happening in this network? You know, did a container just got access through something that maybe a basic um, uh, RVAX could stop it? You know, all of that is what the pieces of work that we're going to look at. It's a vision. Dark knock is a vision. People have written books about it. Automation is a vision. And I think it's something that is never ending. It's a continuous improvement that we work with, uh, with partners such as yourself in order to continuously make this network to operate better and better and better. And optimization of network is another major, major key, which comes through prediction, predictive an analysis of the radio network. And then, obviously, on top of dark knock, we have this vision of application-aware networking, that the network adjusts itself for the applications that you use. Yep. So there's a huge amount of stuff goes into it. But together, we're building the foundations at the moment. And I'm absolutely. really looking forward to see where it's going to go. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Reza. And uh, really applaud you for your vision uh, you, yeah. to start with the data, which is the most important asset, and then building intelligence on top of that and then taking the whole organization forwards as you're doing it with upskilling and transforming your organization into a software engineering organization. So really applaud you for that and thank you so much for the partnership. Thank you. And really thank you very much. Cheers, thank you.